And in today's video, I will be making a chicken soup using these pickle limes. And I did this last week. It was a request from some of you guys. And if you haven't had a chance to watch my video yet, you can scroll down into my video channel list and it will be in there along with many other delicious recipes as well. And if you never had a chicken soup using this pickle lime, it's very delicious. It's uh, very simple to make and doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It's just basically chicken and pickle limes. You can use regular chicken, stewing chicken, or brown chicken. But in today's video, I will be using black chicken just because I like the flavor of it. It has a nice texture. It goes very well with the pickle limes. It's available in most Asian market. Just go into the frozen section and it will be there. So let's get started. In this pot, I put in three liter water and the lemongrass, the cacao lime waste, the gallon gar, and the garlic. And the crunch down here, my not the my lead high, I'm not the gray, it's the crow, my day high in the When the water comes to a boil, add in the chicken, the topic, the food, and that someone to. Then add the salt. And the fish sauce. And remove the scum and the fat that is floating on top of the water. And the The chicken for 10 minutes and then after that you can add in your pickle lime. But I'm going to add some more tea. I'm going to add some more tea. I'm going to add some more tea. Then add in the green garlic after putting the pickle lime. I'm going to add some more tea. I'm going to add some more tea. Just turn off your stove. Have that more yam, but plain though. Have some more yam, chicken high. I'll add in some more yam, one cow, yam ngau, the bok yam, more chicken high. High yam got that chi, high nung to buy crunch more time below. I mean to roast it too. And I hope you like this recipe. And if you do, please don't forget to press like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you um, to Om Randy from France who have sent me many great pictures of her family favorite dish and a picture of her grandfather back in the 1960s. To me, this means a lot. It truly keeps me motivated and continue to do what I'm doing today. So please continue to watch my channel. I will be sharing with you many more Cambodian recipes that I learned from my grandmother and also learned from my mom. Um, until the next video, um, thank you and to be